So if we look at this question, we can't put the 36, the 81, the 4, or the 27 together because there are exponents involved. And so what can we possibly do? Because we can't do anything at the moment. Well, remember, what we've got to do is we've got to break each of those four numbers down into the building blocks. The building blocks are called prime numbers. And then we might notice a few similarities in those four numbers. Let's see how that's going to work out. So what we do is we use the, if you have a Casio, you can use the shift fact technique, which we looked at in previous videos, where we see that 36 is the same as 2 squared times by 3 squared. And then you open up a bracket and say x. Then the 81 is 3 to the power of 4, open up a bracket and say x plus 2. 4 is the same as 2 to the power of 2. And then 27 is the same as 3 to the power of 3. And then in brackets we have 2x plus 2. Okay, so now what we do is, remember what would you do over here? Well, when you have a power on the outside, you multiply, right? And so you've got to do it for the 2 first, so that's going to be 2 to the power of 2x, and the 3, so that's 3 to the power of 2x. Then moving on to this part over here, that's going to be 3 to the power of 4x plus 8. Now moving to the bottom, that's going to be 2 to the power of 2x, and 3 to the power of 6x plus 6. Great, so look what's happened now. Remember the original numbers? Did they have anything in common? No, they didn't. But now look what we have. We've got twos and twos, and then we've got all these threes over here. And you see, guys, so what we're doing is we're taking normal numbers, breaking them down into their building blocks, which we call prime numbers, and then we're seeing the similarities in the numbers. Once we see the similarities, then we can combine them together using exponent rules. So at the top, we're going to put those threes together first, these ones over here. And so we're going to be stuck with 2 to the power of 2x at the top, and then 3 to the power of... Now, the exponent rule says that when your bases are the same and you're multiplying like this, you add the exponents. Okay, so that's going to become two to 3 to the power of 6x plus 8, right? Because this 4x and that 2x becomes 6x. At the bottom, we're going to just write it exactly as it is because the 2 and the 3 cannot be combined. Now, if we look at exponent rules, what should we do if the 1 is at the top and the 1 is at the bottom? We minus, and so we're going to do the same now. And so we can see there's a 2 and a 2, and then there's a 3 and a 3. And so for the 2s, it's going to become 2 to the power of 2x minus 2x, which is just 0. And then here's where you've got to be very careful. With these 3s, you're going to minus, so it's going to be 6x plus 8 minus... 6x plus 6. But now when you're minusing something that's got more than one term, you must use a bracket because that minus is going to jump in and it's going to switch the sign around. That's a very common mistake. So look out for that. So it's going to become 6x plus 8 minus 6x minus 6. And the 6x's are going to cancel. And then 8 minus 6 is, whoa, 8 minus 6 is 2. And so it's going to become 3 to the power of 2. Now, 2 to the power of 0, that just falls away because that's just equal to 1. And then 3 to the power of 2 is 9.